Hey, little painters. So I got a request sent in by Bryce from Mission. So he wanted to do um, a monster truck. So today we're going to do a monster truck. You don't need as much paint as that I have on here. I have the colors that you're going to need. You're going to need blue. If you have an orange, then you don't need to use all these colors. You don't need red and yellow. You just use your orange. But I'm making yellow. I'm making orange, so I need yellow and red. Black for the tires, some brown for the dirt, and then just some some white so that you can make some gray for um, his headlights and for the little bit on the tires. So not as much paint as me. I have way too much paint. So just try a little bit. You can always get more, but it's really hard to put it back. We're going to use the big brush. And we're going to use the pointy brush today. So big brush and a little brush. And that's probably it. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to draw the tires. So you guys just think in shapes, all right? So we're going to start with a circle or two. Let me get that down there just a little bit so you can see it all. Okay, so you see this? We are going to go over there to the tires and we're going to draw two circles. So with black, we're going to have one down here on the bottom and that monster truck is going to go up this way. So we're going to draw two tires, leave some room at the front over here for the front of his truck and then some for the for the tailgate. So I'm going to start down here in the corner, not right to the edge, but I want a nice big tire. Monster trucks have great big tires and then they have these little trucks. So it doesn't matter how perfect the circle is yet. If you have um, a cup or something and you want to trace around the cup, um, see this one here has a nice big lid. You can put that right on the canvas and trace around it. That's a good idea if you're not very good at drawing circles yet, but we're just going to draw that circle and then we're going to draw them up here so that the monster truck is going up in the air. So don't want to put it right at the edge. So I'm going to put it here. Just want them to be about the same size. Those look like they're about the same size. And they look like circles. So I'm pretty happy. That's what you gotta do. You gotta get those circle shapes. Then we're gonna draw a straight line, not right on the tires, but just up a little bit. See right here? It's just above the tires a little bit. We're gonna draw this line. Maybe mom has a ruler or something that's straight and hard. Um, I have a clipboard. So what I could do is I could do this and that's going to give me a nice straight line just so when you're looking at it, it has this same amount of room and that same amount of room on there. So when you put that on your canvas, is that right? You got your black. Let me get some more paint on here. Then you're going to go like this. Nice straight line. Dragged my paint through it. Okay, that's okay. I'm not too worried that I make a few mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. So we're going to do that and it's going to come a little bit in front, but then it's going to stop because we need to make it go up just a little bit here on the end. Just a little bit. It just goes up a tiny bit, not a whole bunch. The other one let me check what I did there. It just goes straight across. So next, these we have to draw these little, they're like rainbows over top. They're called wheel wells. It's where the wheels usually fit in, but because the monster truck wheels are so big, they won't fit under there anymore. So we're going to start just right here and you're going to draw a little smile or a little rainbow. And on this one too, and another little rainbow. There we go. Now I know how far my truck is. Now I'm going to just make my lines a little better so I can see them. I messed those ones up a little bit, but that's okay. Then we are going to draw our next line, which is between the two tires. We don't really want to touch the tires. I know I did here. I made a mistake, but that's okay. You're allowed to do that. No, I didn't make a mistake. It's supposed to be like that. Okay, so we're going to draw a line right in the middle of the tires, right there, straight across, same angle as that. So you want that one's going in that direction. This should be going exactly the same direction. It's called parallel lines. 
Then we're going to draw a line from here that goes to the middle, doesn't touch the wheel. The same on this side, doesn't touch the wheel. Can be close. And then right in the middle, draw another straight line that's parallel, not going to be on the same angle. And then we're going to start drawing some, um, making these into triangles. So that's a triangle. And then start at the same point right there and then go down to that one. And it makes another triangle. At the top, we're going to go from this little corner right here where this line hits and we're going to go up to the top and then we're going to come back down right down to that point again and same on this side it goes down to that point and then down to that corner so now we have looks like kind of diamonds in the center those are the shapes that we want up here we're going to draw two lines you have a big space in the middle so we can put our orange shock absorbers in there. Yep, shock absorbers. That's so when the truck is bouncing on top of other vehicles, it can go shh, shh, shh. All right. And then same on this side, leave a space. What else we got going on there? Nothing. Okay, now comes the fun part, you guys. Now we have to draw the body of our big truck. So what are we going to do? We are going to go up straight here. Well, it doesn't look very straight because it's, but if you're looking at your truck, it's straight. So we're going to go up on a little bit of an angle to here. Make it a little bit round there. That's your front end, your nose end. And then let's go just up a little bit up a little bit not straight across see how it's getting a little bit bigger that's your hood and from there and where does that hood go just past the tire so it's going to come this way just a little bit more and then it's going to go on another angle that's your front window okay and you can make your truck any color you want, you know, you don't have to stay with mine. So then it comes back straight and it's parallel with this line again. Okay, I'm just going to leave that for a minute. Don't bring the line down yet. We want to make sure that it looks right. So from back here, you see here where um, this part here where the top of the hood it comes basically straight along so this isn't going to be higher than that so if you need to get your ruler again this is not a, really a ruler but we're going to see how this line matches up see it's on the same angle it's parallel we're going to go up to this line and make it parallel and then I'm going to start here that's a kind of a cool trick so this and this are the same size now, here and here. Oops, that's okay, I made a mistake, no big deal. Now how wide do you want your, uh, I don't know what you call that. If you want, you could go all the way across and you don't have to, but there's that. I'm gonna stop there, I think that looks pretty good. It's gonna have a stack, so it's just kind of like, um, circle or square whichever you want and it's going to come right down behind behind the box that's what it is the box of that truck and then it's going to have like a roll cage bar here so that it doesn't get squished too bad that's going to make it stronger so there you go now you've got your stack and then we have to put windows on so even if you did go all the way across that's really a good thing when you think about it let me just go straight across because now you know where the windows go to. You're going to leave a little space here. And you're going to leave a little space at the top for the roof. And then you're going to come right down to that line. That there is all window. You don't have to have a window here if you don't want to. I put one in. This time I'm not going to. Maybe I'm going to make this window just a little bit wider. And then we're going to color that all in black.
Okay, now he's got a blacked out window. You don't get to see who's driving this truck. Maybe it's a girl. Girls can drive monster trucks. Okay, so there you go. Now you got a window. Ah, <sighs> that was fun. It's a little scary, isn't it? Lots of little parts to this. We're going to put the headlights, so we're going to do a round. Doesn't go past there, though. And then the bumper, it comes sort of around and long, but it also goes past a little bit. And we're going to paint that gray in a minute, so we'll just leave that alone. At the back, you've got a bumper down here. Can you guys see? Oh, I've got to need to move that back over. Move back over. You need to put a bumper here, so around. But you don't see that it goes past over here. You don't get to see that. All right. So what I want to happen is I want this to dry. So I'm going to paint that part first. I'm going to grab my big brush. And we don't want to have a whole bunch of the color. You don't have to do blue. You can have a, a purple monster truck or a green one. But just remember that your, your flames are orange, if that's what you want on yours. So um, you can't paint it. it won't, you won't show up very much if you paint it red. So I am going to put mine blue again. So I'm coloring this all blue. It's OK if some of the black gets mixed in there. It's just going to give you a different shade of blue. So whatever brush you feel best coloring in with, that's what brush you should be using. If you guys got some thick paint from me, you can dip your brush in the water and then into your paint and it will make your paint last longer. You'll have more, you'll be able to use your paint for longer because you won't use as much. So that's the fun of thick paint. And if you got some on here and you want to move it around, you can just put your brush in the water. If you're using the thick paint, you put your brush in the water and you take some off like this. And then you just have like a damp brush. You can go into that paint that's on your canvas and look at you can move it around because it's so thick. Right? Dip it in, take some of it off. Then we'll take some from here. Go over that hardly comes off, but now you've got some in your brush. So now you can use your brush. So dip it in, take some off and right there where you use that blue. Now you've got blue loaded in your brush. Dip it in the water, take some water off. If you don't take the water off, then it runs all down your canvas and it makes it kind of messy. But look how far you can make that paint go when you use the water. That's why thick paint is so amazing. Okay, so back to painting the rest of your truck for you. Or you can just water your paint down right here on a different part of your tray. Just put some water in it so it's thinner. And it goes a long way that way. We want this to dry. So you might have to get your big person to use the blow dryer for a minute just to dry that up. Don't color in your bumpers. I've used way too much paint, but that's okay. I'm going to paint another project after this, so I'm going to use that paint for something else. And around those wheel wells. So um, next painting I'm going to do for you kids is going to be Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. So you're going to need some green paint, black paint, some white paint, and some brown paint for that one. Okay, so now my truck is all painted. I don't want it to be wet, so I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to take my big brush, clean off most of the blue in the water, and then I'm going to go to the black. And I'm going to go in my tires, and I'm going to paint the outside of it black. Just the outside. The inside, see, it's got like a round white, so we're not going to paint that part. If it's easier for you to do the circle first, make sure it's right in the middle. So 
if you're not good at circles, find something to trace out a circle with and use a small brush to trace that. And then just paint around it, okay? Paint around that. Paint is very thick, so I had to put some water in it. Okay. Painting all around that. Now it looks like a big black donut. Look at that donut. I hope you like this one, Bryce. I did it for you, buddy. If you guys want me to paint something, you get your big person to send me um, a little email telling me what you want me to paint. It's not very round, is it? And I will do my best to put you in line because I've got lots of suggestions that I've got to get through. But I think we're going to be painting for a while together. Make my circle. You don't have to go fast. You take your time. Get it done when you want. Put pause if I'm going too fast, and then you can start me over again. Look at that. So fun. Okay. You need the little brush now because we're going to make some gray. So I'm going to take a little bit of uh, white, and I'm going to move some white over a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little bit of black on my round brush. And I'm going to mix that with the white so that I get some gray. If it still looks white, you just put a little bit more black in. If it's looking black, then you have to put some more white in. So you get a nice gray. And that's going to be our silver color. So our bumper, we're going to paint our bumper gray. There we go. And then we have another one. Paint that one too. There we go. Got our bumper painted. Um, don't know where else we're going to put gray. Um, we can write our name in gray if we want to. We can put some gray lines on our stack. We can go over the black a little bit with some gray. It makes it look a little... You can hardly see it, but you can see it. You wash that off. We need some straight white for that headlight and for the tire part so get the brush really cleaned off you don't want to have any black or any blue stuck in it and i do remember i showed you guys when you wash it off in the water when you go to your paper towel and you go like this and no color comes out then you know that you've got it nice and clean so i'm going to go into some white and i want to have all of this white in center start in the middle and work your way out so that you don't bring any black in and you can also make your circle if your circle isn't really round and you want to make it rounder this is how you do it don't have it really thick though if you see any globs of paint in there like globs, thick lines smooth them out wipe it off on a paper towel so that it dries faster. So I'll start in the center and go around like a Harry Potter wand and just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger until you get right to the edge. Oh, see, I went to the edge. Wipe your brush off. Don't keep dragging that little bit of black in there and around. Take that, wipe it off, clean your brush. Otherwise, you're just going to put gray all over your tire where you want it to be white. Make that nice and round. There's the can, got some black in there. Now I got a bunch of thick globs. So you know I'm gonna show you what I mean by thick globs. Uh, where am I here? See in this tire, you see all these globby lines that I have here? So I'm just gonna smooth those out with my brush. Wipe off that paint on my napkin so there's none on my brush and just smooth them all away and then it will dry faster. Okay. Okay. What other? Okay. If you got the white too, you know what I was doing? I was putting little highlight marks in. So this, if I put a little white line right there, ooh, it looks like a shine. I want to paint my headlight, but I don't want to see that black line. So I've got to paint over that. Probably have to do it twice because it's going gray. So get rid of all the globbies out of there. 
I'm just gonna leave it like that for a minute. I'm gonna put a shine right up here. So if I put like a little mark right there, ooh, it looks like the light hit it and it gave that a little bit of a shine. Maybe he's got a shine in the window. Just put a mark on there. Ooh, now it's got a nice shiny window. Okay, I did trace around. You don't have to, but I traced around uh, the windows with white. So try to stay off the black because your black is probably still wet. But you want to trace over that. There, that looks pretty nice. I like it. Tires are not dry yet. Um, but get somebody at this point to blow dry your painting so it's all nice and dry. You want to have dry tires so we can put the white lines on for the tread. You want this to be really, really dry so that we can put the flames on that. Um, and this has got to be dry so we can make it a little bit whiter. Okay. I'm going to do it without and you're going to see what happens probably shine mark there. You're going to see that it's going to pick up some paint and maybe it's going to go gray. But what we're going to do with um, these lines, they're not straight lines. They're curved a little bit, almost like a little bit of a rainbow. So maybe I'll start right at the side so it does look a bit like a rainbow. So it curves a little bit. See that how it curves? We're going to make the same space mark and keep the same curve all the way around. Try to keep them exactly the same distance apart so that it looks like real tire treads. And then there's a curve. And then there's a curve. Go all the way around. See how my spaces are all the same? Try to keep them really close to the same. It's a little curve. And as I come up here, they're not looking like rainbows anymore. They're looking like smiles. Smile, smile. I don't know what this one's not a smile or anything. I'm going to squeeze one more in there. Whew, that looks pretty even. I got a little bit big there, but that's okay. It's okay. It's just a painting. So again, you do on the other side. So a little bit of a rainbow, make a space, and then your next space is going to be the same distance all the way around, little curves, little curve. Smile. Whoa. And then one more curve. Oh, yeah, that looks great. They look pretty evenly spaced. Now this, you blow dried it so it's nice and straight. I'm going to wash the white off my brush. And I'm going to go into some black. Well, if we want some more dry time, we can make our black lines thicker. I want this to be thicker in here, so I'm pushing harder. Maybe yours are already thick. And that's good. But mine aren't thick enough. So I'm going to go over my lines and make them just a little bit thicker. And then all these lines too. Because this is pipe. It's supposed to be really strong and thick. So, and you want to see it. This keeps the truck from getting all bent and folded when it crushes over top of all the other cars that it's climbing on. I went to a monster truck show once. It was so loud. You have to have earmuffs when you go. Once you hurt your ears forever. Okay. Oh, I've got one more here. I'll draw this one a little bit bigger. There. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now what we have to do is we have to draw lines and dots and things in there. So I'm going to start with the dots. I'm going to put one dot right exactly in the middle on both, right exactly in the middle, close as you can anyway. And then we're going to draw um, dots all the way around. This is like the, what they call them, lug nuts that hold the tire on. And you can stop right there if your tires are too small. Like I put some other circles inside there. If you have room and you probably need a smaller brush than this, then you can put some more circles, but that's just fine. And that's where I'm leaving mine because my tires are smaller in this one than that one. So there's no room for my circles. Either way is good. Okay. 
And there we go. We got those done. Looking good. So now, guys, if you have orange, you're ready to go. For any of us who don't have orange, we've got to make orange. But to start with, I'm going to do it in white because I want to paint it white first and then put the color on because you're just going to see blue through it because it's really a um, transparent color. I don't know why, but my yellow and red and stuff, you can just see through it. And I don't want to see blue. I want to see flames. So I'm going to go just a little bit past this one and I'm going to kind of go around it and Flames don't have to be perfect, you guys. No flame is perfect. So it's going to come around and it's going to go whoop, up like that. And then it's going to come back down and it's going to make a little circle, like a little loop. Almost kind of looks like a little S with a hook. And then it's going to make another swoop going to come back down and swoop in a little bit and then it's going to have a little short one and then it's going to swoop around and it's going to way up over that tire. I don't know if it's the same as the other one. I can't see it anymore from here. And it's going to swoop around whoop, right on top of that tire and then I'm going to do last flame right there. So that's what my flame looks like. Maybe mom or your big person can help you with those flames. And then just paint them really thin and white. Even if you see some of the blue coming through, it's okay. Just get it covered up with white really, really lightly. No globs. We want this to dry. If it's not dry, big person will blow dry you again. Or you can just wave it in the air. Maybe you don't have a blow dryer. Maybe your big person is bald and you don't need a blow dryer. You can take it out in the sunshine and wave it around a little bit and then come back. It dries really fast in this warm sunshine. Do you see the whole thing? You can see the whole thing. Okay. almost looks like waves. I mean, if you didn't want to color yours orange and you just want it to be white, instead of flames, now it looks like waves, doesn't it? It can like be a beachy kind of a monster truck. Make this a really nice thick white if you want that, if you want it to be beach. I like it white actually, but I'm going to paint it orange just to show you. But it looks nice white. And I don't have a whole lot of room for my name, but you're going to have some room there where you can put your name or you can put your name on here. Maybe you have a really long name. I don't know. There. So you could stop there. That looks really cool. It looks like waves. But we're going to make some orange. What else do I need white? I don't need white anywhere else. All right. So what I want to do is get all of the white off your brush because it changes the color when you're mixing your orange it makes it kind of milky like milky tomato soup anyway so we're going to take a little bit of red just a little bit of red wash that off so i'm going to use the yellow for something else and i'm going to take a whole bunch of yellow bring it over here take some more yellow Whoa. Bring it over there. Okay, so I'm going to stir that around. And look at it, it's turning orange. I love it. So now I've got a nice ready orange color. So we're going to make the shocks and you start right in the middle of that wheel, right at the center where it starts to curve and just go back and forth like this. See how you can hardly see it there because we didn't put white underneath it? but the background was white, so it showed up. So that's what we're gonna do with the shock absorbers. Just wiggle back and forth, a nice straight line down to your tire. Shock absorbers. 
All right, we'll leave that there. And that's your shocks. Now we're going to take, and we're going to take this orange, and we're just going to cover over all that white that we just painted. And look at that, it makes the flames. Pretty cool. And you'll see if you paint over the lines here with your orange, you're going to see that you can't really see it very well with the blue. It doesn't show up very bright because it's transparent. There we go. Oh, very, very cool. Very, very cool. And I didn't paint the background here. So I don't know what you guys want to do. You can make whatever you want behind there. Um, I'm going to paint some dirt here. But if you want to paint a tree, you can paint a tree. I think it looks good with nothing, but that's up to you. This is your painting. You do whatever you want. And zip. Just about done. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty. Okay, back to my big brush, guys. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make some dirt. Um, I got a little bit of black in my brush, but it's okay. So I'm going to make the dirt, but I'm not going to put this one touching the dirt. It's going to look like it bounced off, so it's not going to be exactly on the dirt. So I'll take my big brush, and I'm going to put it in some brown, and I'm going to go right under this tire, all messy. Just sort of make it however you want, lumpy. But it's not going to touch that front tire. See, now it looks like that tire is bounced off the ground. And then I'm just going to come down on the angle there. And fill that in. Take some brown. If you got thick paint, mix it in the water. And then you can swoosh it all around in there with the wet, damp brush. And that gives you different shades of brown, so it really looks realistic. So throw some brown on, get your brush wet, take off some of the water, put it right in there, and then push that paint around. And it doesn't matter if you go over the lines and wiggle around. Actually, if you wiggle around, it's kind of better. Don't scrub your brush too much because you might ruin your brush. And however you want your dirt to be, there you go. So that is your monster shock. Now you're just going to put your name on there. Um, wash that all orange off that little brush. And you can put your name anywhere you want. So I'm going to put mine right here this time. Boy, oh boy, it's not even showing up. Okay, my name is Tammy, so put my name here. There you go, monster truck. Hope you enjoyed that. Next time, you guys, I'm going to be doing the um, little baby Yoda. So green, brown, white, black. That's it. Okay? See you next time. Enjoy.